Electricity is the 1979 debut single by English electronic band Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark, featured on their eponymous debut album the following year. Andy McCluskey and Paul Humphreys sing the lead vocals on the track together in unison. As with single messages from the same album, the song features a melodic synthesizer break instead of a sung chorus. The track is a holdover from defunct Wirral group The Id, who were led by McCluskey and Humphreys. Following OMD's release of Electricity on Factory Records, the band were offered a recording contract with Dimedisc, who twice reissued the single. An October 2019 re-release, through Virgin Emmy, topped the UK vinyl singles chart. Electricity has been recognized as one of the most influential songs of its era, and has been praised by multiple recording artists. Electricity was the first song that Andy McCluskey and Paul Humphreys wrote together at the age of 16. It addresses society's wasteful usage of energy resources. Inspired by Kraftwerk's radioactivity, the track was described by McCluskey as a faster, punkier version of radioactivity with a chorus. As with single messages from the same album, a sung chorus is substituted for a melodic synthesizer break. McCluskey and Humphreys originally recorded electricity as members of OMD precursor group The Id, in early 1978. After OMD's first concert, opening for Joy Division in a 1978 appearance at Eric's Club in Liverpool, McCluskey was inspired to send a demo of the song to Factory Records founder Tony Wilson. They later heard that while he was not impressed with it, his wife was, so he bought it from them and released it as a single. Its ensuing success led to them receiving a seven-album record deal with Dyndisc, worth over £250,000. Electricity was a hit with veteran DJ John Peel, who gave the song regular play on his late-night radio show. As a result, the British music press quickly picked up on the song. Adrian Thrills of NME cited it as the best example of factory records to date, excellent, melodic, synthesizer pop. He also lauded B-side almost, calling it a doleful. Heart Six Slab of Electronic Angst In a review of 1980 single Enola Gay, Jonathan Green of the Canberra Times described both it and Electricity as a super pop song. Conversely, Gary Bushell gave a negative review in Sounds, in which he remarked, if Mike Oldfield was 10 years younger in a tubeway. Army fan, this is what he'd sound like. Who wants to listen to a bunch of scousers whining about electricity anyway? However, David Hepworth, who reappraised the track in the same publication, opined that OMD's sound commands your attention and laud it. The single for being packaged with as much taste as it's played. Electricity featured on the NME end of year list for 1979. In a retrospective review, Ned Raggett of All Music described the song as pure zeitgeist, a celebration of synth pop's incipient reign. Critic Dave Thompson called it a perfect electropop number. Danny Eccleston of Mojo recognized electricity as important to the dawn of UK synth pop. The Guardian's Mary Heron wrote that the single pioneered a new electronic pop, while author and musician Rudy Esch described electricity as a song that started a new movement. Esch borrowed its title for his book. Electri underscore City, the Dusseldorf School of Electronic Music. Andrew Trendle of NME identified the track as a classic and one of the most influential singles of the post-punk era. AFI and Black Audio frontman Davey Havoc called the song groundbreaking. Erasure bandleader Vince Clark told the BBC, When I was 18 or 19 I heard a single called Electricity. By orchestral maneuvers in the dark. It sounded so different from anything I'd heard, that really made me want to make electronic music. Because it was so unique. BBC Radio Steve Lamack has named the wonderful track as his inspiration to become a DJ, and musician Ian Devaney formed the band Nation of Language after hearing the song. Brett Wickens of Spoons and Ceramic Hello noted that he was initially inspired by the track, as well as its cover art. Electricity has been praised by other musicians. Ted Ottaviano of Book of Love, a band heavily influenced by OMD, said of the song, I've never heard anything so simple and sophisticated all at the same time. It's, one of my all-time faves. Mute Records founder Daniel Miller wrote. I remember thinking, my god, that's an amazing pop song. Philip Oki of the Human League called it a brilliant single, and Simple Minds frontman Jim Kerr admitted to being downright jealous of the track. David Balf of the Teardrop Explodes recalled admiring the song. The track has been covered by artists including NoFX, Apoptigma Berserk and MGMT. Q argued that the kids aren't alright, by punk rock band The Offspring. Borrows heavily from the song, the magazine pointed to NoFX's punk cover of Electricity as evidence. In a poll of 8,180 slicing up eyeballs readers, Electricity was voted the 69th best track of 1980. 
there are many different versions of the two songs that were present on OMD's debut single. After the band left Factory Records, Din Disc attempted twice to score a hit with Electricity. Consequently, four versions of Electricity and three of Almost exist. The following singles have been released, Electricity and Almost have been released on the following OMD albums, the sleeve was designed by Factory's designer Peter Saville. The band and Saville met in a Rochdale pub and exchanged ideas. Saville told them about a book of avant-garde musical scores which he'd come across. Andy McCluskey said that he sometimes wrote down the tunes he composed in a similar shorthand. This led to the unusual graphics that feature on the sleeve. Saville suggested to use shiny black ink on black paper. Neither OMD nor Tony Wilson believed it could be done, but Saville persuaded a printer to do the job. The thermographic printing was a success, but the place set on fire three times, so eventually only 5,000 sleeves were printed. The reissue sleeves were standard white on black printed sleeves. A special edition of the single was released on September 27, 2019 by Virgin Emmy, as part of the group's 40th anniversary celebrations. The A-side features the Hannett Slash Cargo Studios version of Electricity, incorrectly listed as the Factory Records version, while the B-side has a new remix of Almost by Vince Clark. The limited edition release is pressed on clear vinyl and the sleeve is an adaptation of the original Peter Saville design. This version debuted on the UK vinyl singles chart at No. 1. Thanks for watching.